so we're going to talk about how we make a contour line drawing. Um, if we were here in the classroom, we would be using an actual skull sitting at your table so that you would then have like kind of the feeling or the sensation of that foreshortening effect where this is sitting on the table in front of you and you're going to have to figure out how to draw the way it's sitting on the table. Um, unfortunately, uh, because we're all not in the classroom, uh, we have to use some different resources. So you can see I have supplied you in your kit with a photo reference of a skull. It is my recommendation that if you're using the photo reference that you um, hang it up um, or stand it up in front of you. So you can see I can use my Chromebook screen to hold up um, the skull illustration, the skull photograph, and use that as my reference and look up at it just as I would the actual skull sitting here in the classroom. So this is the ideal situation that I would have my um, drawing paper here and be able to look up at the object that I'm um, drawing. The other option for you is in Google Classroom. Uh, I have included some uh, reference photos of skulls. Um, there is both front view and uh, side view and then kind of a three quarter view of a skull that you can use as well. So um, it, it just depends on what you want to do or what you want to use. If you're going to use one of the references on um, your Chromebook, just make sure that it doesn't like, the screen doesn't darken while you're drawing. Okay, that's kind of the most important thing is that we want um, we want what you're looking at, oops, what you're looking at while you're drawing to stay kind of constant while you're making the drawing happen. So I'm going to um, make a contour line right now using this skull reference and just kind of walk you through the process um, of this style of drawing. So we're going to be doing something called contour line drawing. Contour line drawing is smooth and slow. It's never rough or hairy. Um, and then it, it has no shading. There are no indications of darker areas. Um, and so you can see here is one finished version of a contour line drawing. The only thing that I have done is I'm using the pen and um, I have let some areas be lighter. I've pressed less hard and some areas be darker. So that's how I'm getting this definition uh, between outer edges and inner edges is just has to do with the pressure of the pen or me going back and kind of fixing an edge has made it be a little darker, okay? But nothing is filled in, um, nothing is shaded, and that's what we're going for. I also wanna make sure, like when I say hairy edges, sometimes uh, students want to uh, sketch. They're like, oh, I sketch. And what happens when you sketch is you use your pen in a way that looks like this. And the only way I can make that actually sit together as one single line to make a drawing involves me having to look more at my paper than at um, the reference photo that I'm looking at. And so I do uh, encourage you and want you to draw slow and controlled, making sure that you're just taking in a little bit of the image at a time and that you're not doing those sketchy marks. It is actually the single quickest way to improve your drawing skill is to draw just with confidence. So just to go ahead and confidently put that line in and just go for it, rather than trying to draw using that kind of hairy, hairy line. 
So I'm right now trying, working from the reference of the profile skull, and you'll notice that I stop every so often, like I'm not drawing an entire like line or shape, that I'm kind of being cautious, conscious of doing just a little bit at a time. I'm also looking back to what I've got drawn here and noticing that it lines up sort of with the bottom edge of the nose. And so I'm being a little cautious and knowledgeable of proportions as I work as well so that my drawing doesn't end up um, like odd or out of proportion being I shifted from going this way around to this way around. Also remember, we talked about that this is just a baseline, right? This is just a record of where am I at today in terms of learning how to draw. And we do this so that we can see how much we improve as we start to practice every day because that is something that we're going to be doing is making sure that we're drawing every day. I have quite a bit of practice doing these. Um, want you to also make sure that you're really just slowing down, absorbing all the details that you can, even going back and adding some of the little detail-y things. Um, oh, that's not really wide enough, but. My space here is too short, but it's a baseline. We're, we're going with it, not going to stress. Probably the biggest thing that stresses people out is the, are the teeth. And you just really have to draw what you see of the teeth, which typically means it's a lot of just this portion, this top. When you're finished with your contour line drawing today, I want you to take a photo of it and include it in Google Classroom. Um, we will talk about how to revise these tomorrow and I will also start talking to you about how we increase our accuracy as we're drawing um, because that is always part of what we're concerned with in a medical illustration class is how accurate our work is. And we'll talk about how we can adjust for accuracy tomorrow. So go ahead and finish your drawing. Take a photo, upload it to Google Classroom.